Hello, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. Okay, no question today. I want to talk about uh, a nice uh, conversation I had with a young, good young man, nice young man. Uh, recently, I walked into Phyllis Green's Golf Shop here where I, uh, where I play golf in Inman, South Carolina. And we have a young assistant professional in there that's in the PGA Apprentice Program. And he's actually working to get uh, Swing Surgeon certified as an instructor and he asked me a question about grip and we got into one heck of a good conversation because I told him from the first time I ever worked with him that his grip is his, his left hand is way too strong and uh, this young man's name is Colby and Colby is a, a really good player hits the ball well good, tremendous distance he's about 6'1 somewhere in there a lot taller than me and but he's got a he's got what we call a strong left hand which would be his upper hand is uh, on, on the golf club he's right-handed and by strong, I mean there's always a cup in it, okay, in the wrist. So the key becomes, why is that happening? Well, for first off, he's got a good-sized palm like I do, but he's got really short fingers, okay? So uh, the first thing I looked at was, 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 his, was his grips too skinny. They're, that's certainly not the problem, or too thin, whatever term you want to use. But I think what it comes down to is, as I said, let me watch you grip the club. He's very meticulous in taking his grip but meticulous in the incorrect way. He tends to start as, when he's going to grip his club, he always tends to hold it straight at the belt buckle, right? Right here at the, at the belt buckle. And that means he's, he's basically gripping at a right angle to his body, okay? Which means, to do that, you have to bring your hand up. Now remember, both hands turn inward to a point here where you have to rel relatively straighten them out to, if you want to get it in the prayer position, as I call it, right? Palms perpendicular to the ground, to your body, and then it would be perpendicular as a right angle to, a, to the target line if you, were, if you were standing up dead parallel left of your aiming line, okay? And so to do that, you've got to turn it in like this. And when you do that, you've already set it with a cup. Now, the other thing that, that, that Colby was very big on, he was trying to make sure he had a good left thumb, his thumb was correctly on the golf club, all right? And as you know, we want, you could do one of basically three things with your thumb. You could have it, you could, some people have stretched it downward a lot because they want it to feel like it was, it was almost flat on the club here, and they stretch it down, and many times you'll see them, and that's what we call a long thumb. If you ever see anybody, and you can see their thumb pointing out from that bottom V here, or nearly close to it, you, you, you definitely got a, long, a, a, a person with a long, you know, with what we call the long thumb, and it's really much flat on the club, on the grip. And at that point, the, right, the entire hand will be just about at a right angle to the grip. You see my fingers? They're at a right angle to this grip. As compared to, if we kind of stretch the hand out this way, like shaking hands with somebody down there, we put it on here, my, my thumbs, my, my fingers are at, a, are at diagonal on the grip, okay? And I think that's what we have to have. And then we, so we don't want, we don't ever want the long thumb because that, that immediately pulls the hand itself at a right angle, which is going to put a lot more stress on the grip and impact and very likely cause you to have an arch grip, which is going to put tremendous stress in here where I guess where, where people get bothered with carpal tunnel. Never mind the fact that you start having a lot of problems with your grip. Many of those folks don't want to feel like the, the top of their thumb here is flat on the club too. As compared to here, I can, I got room to stick my whole finger in there. All right. Then we got people with short thumbs. They want it really short, and sometimes it's arched up like that, and that's no good either. You just want a natural thumb. You just want to just, you, when your hand's standing right here like that, when you grab the club, that's just where you want your thumb. You don't want to stretch it. You don't want to shrink it. You just want it natural. And, and, is, and having a space in there is no problem. The other place is, many times golfers, they have to get their thumb too high because they don't want a space between the thumb and, 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 and the top of their, of their pointer finger here. We want space. Look it. See that space right there when your hands are here natural and your thumbs are up your forearms? That's what you want to maintain. So I started to say, we've got to get away from this. Colby, you can't do this anymore. You want to, you want to and I, I started to teach him about, Dr. Armstrong says we have to maintain this angle right here of the hands pointing inward when you grip the club. And so he likes you to grip the club over here on the side, just grab it, get in your hands normal. And from there with the thumb over about 1 o'clock on the top of the club, not 12, about 1, so that the inside of your thumb is touching the grip and just get up here and go like this and hand it to yourself this way and what have you just maintained? The hands are slightly ahead of the club, they're pointing towards, the butt of the club is pointing towards your forward hip now and from there you just come back down and when, you have, when you're addressing a golf ball, now you, got your, now you have your left arm and shaft more in line and to there so that you, and I always like to say that at this point, no matter where the ball is, if I got a, say I got a, a wedge to an eight iron in my hand, 
I always try to feel like the ball, if I look at the V on my, on my bottom hand, that I draw a straight line from my eyes to the ball, and it's like that it's in straight line with that. So that way if I go to a driver, see I haven't moved anything, I just moved myself, but I'm up here, and, and that V is still at the ball, and I'm still pointing right here. From here, from center to draw wedges through 7-9, 8-iron, and then I gradually stop moving forward. So what's happening? My arms are staying there. You don't want to go like this to the ball. You got to stay behind it and you got to just move your arms, your triangle this way to it, and that stays in line. All right? So, Kobe's working like crazy on it, but it's, it's tough because even if he grips it here, he, he likes to, he, I can see him, he always tends to re grip it like this. He'll go and he'll re grip it. Once he gets it in, he'll go like this because he just likes getting it a little bit deeper in the fingers over here. And, and it comes down and he gets that, and he gets that, the heel of the club too far on top. It should be, it should be no more than about 12 o'clock on top. He likes getting it to the, to like to the one o'clock side of the top of the grip here. And he, and, he, and, I, and I can see him many times. He'll get in here and he'll feel too weak for him. And he goes just like that before he swings. And he does a little bit of that regrip. So he's working hard to get rid of that. Dra grab it right here. Just bring it up, come down and just check it out. The V has got some space in it. The thumb's over there and we're squeezing upward in the fingers. All right, grip is important. Pressure is great. And you should always feel like, like in this position, the, the hands are slightly ahead, so even when I start my turn and, I, and, even, and I'm, try, I'm starting to turn back, I always want to feel like in my mind I'm moving the club first. The square of my body and my triangle moves together to get the club going. They move first, but in my mind I'm trying to feel like, like the, I, I'm, I'm moving the club, the toe of the club first into the catcher's mid toe up. All right? But the grip, this position is critical. All right? And good grip is everything because it, it, proper square grip is going to return the club back to the ball square at impact provided you got the club square to begin with itself not shut and not open okay so square club is straight up and down so Colby's working like crazy on getting that grip a little bit better so he can tighten up his margins of error tighten up his starting line because he's right now he's hitting the ball relatively straight they just tend to start too much to the right every now and then and 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 then every now and then when you're tired of that you can put the pull on it and a lot of times that's that's either the club faces out or getting back to square in the right position at impact with both arms extended could be a problem but grip's critical because basically a good grip, your bottom hand for my uh, right hander would be is in line with the club face, and that's what you want to check. All right, hand and the club face are together. Firm grip, square grip, brings the club back to square at impact. You'll be hitting it more solid and straight. So get like Kobe, work on that grip. Start it here, bring it up, and check it out. You get the grip square, club square. You'll be hitting the ball a heck of a lot better, more solid straight, therefore shooting lower scores. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.